Yo, what's going on guys? Shake and Make back and today we got a video on five things you might not know about with my team this year and five things that I've kind of gotten, I guess I've gotten some questions on here and there and people are like, wait, what? You can do that? I didn't know that was in my team and things like that and like um, just some confusion and I guess I wanted to clear it up. So I got a video, five things you might not know. We might low-key throw in a sixth thing because I, I have another thing that's like low-key driving me nuts. I get questions about this every single damn day on Twitter and I've had it up to like here like I, like if one more person asked me and I know people are gonna still continue to ask me but at least now I'm just gonna just tweet the video at them that's all I'm gonna do because like I can't keep answering the same question over and over and over it's definitely driving me nuts so let's get right into the five things you might not know about my team this year so the first couple are kind of common and I think most people will know first one challenges do not expire this year I've definitely got some questions about it you can see the second set of weekly challenges is out and week one's challenges are still here um, yeah, nothing wrong with that nice and easily same with schedule challenges. These shouldn't expire um, Again, we'll get more as the year goes on and every two weeks they'll give us two more moments challenges I think will expire. I don't think these will be around forever But the weekly and schedule challenges should not now again the moments challenges I think will disappear because if they don't there would just be like hundreds of challenges like they give us They gave us a decent amount. And I think they're gonna give us a lot of them this year so i think these will the moments challenges will eventually expire so you might want to play those but the other ones you can wait on if you don't want to do them right now i still have to do the multiplayer ones i don't even know if this one's worth it <laughs> i mean i guess if you can get them to rage quit it probably is but you gotta get you have to rack up assists too while playing it so i don't know how rage quits work there <laughs> but yeah um yeah challenges don't expire pretty simple i mean I, I, but hey sometimes people don't know about that i have gotten some questions on this and figured it's worth throwing in here. The second thing that you might not know about my team is this year you can sell diamond shoes and diamond contracts. You can see there is a good amount of them up because you can get them from Triple Threat. Like I told you and I showed in that video, but not everybody knew. Everybody was like, wait, what? You can sell them this year? Yeah, you can. And you make some pretty good profit off them. I think later in the year, these will become more expensive as better cards are out too and people are looking to pick up a certain shoe to throw on a certain player same with like when guys drop and like they need a three-point shoe boost or something like that i think that day certain calls go up look at this one right here 15k for this Kyrie's. That, that's not bad man someone's bidding on it trying to get it so you can make some good profit off these in the uh, triple threat mode online where you can get them so definitely take note of that a lot of people didn't notice that and then again contracts as well diamond contracts you can see people are bidding on this but they go for at least 10,000 mt so that is kind of nice that's the most you can post them for by the way just like badges they do that so people don't sell mt and like transfer mt on these and yeah you can't do that they've changed they did that a while ago they added that in where you can only send them for ten thousand a pop so yeah you have to bid on them if you want them sometimes you can find a contract for buyout i definitely have already this year um i bought i think two for buyout so you can try and snipe them every now and then you might get some good but that is number two some people may have known that, but uh, there definitely was a good amount that didn't, especially before my video I uploaded the other day where I showed that I got them and they're on the auction. It's number three, I think is pretty important because people don't seem to realize this. We got the locker code for the heat check pack and people don't really understand why heat, what heat check pack cards are. Like people just don't understand. People are like, oh crap, I got a, you know, a 69 overall card. Oh, whatever, that sucks. And, and like, I was like, no, these are good because number three is there are dynamic rated cards in 2k19 and you might be like wait what dynamic ratings um that means these cards ratings will change over periods of time now with the heat check cards they said for 48 hours these cards will go up if they're like on a hot streak in real life so if we search um by the heat check cards right now they're, they, they still go for a good amount too you guys can see nicholas batum right here so say he's having a crazy good week he's averaging 30 this week his stats will bump up now we don't know how much but this is a dynamic card, so you're going to, I mean, during those 48 hours, say his, his card becomes like a 87 or a 90 or something crazy. We don't know how high these are going to go. That would be pretty insane. Like, can you imagine if all of a sudden, I don't know, like Malik Monk, now he's got like a 95 three-point shot. He's going to have crazy value. Obviously, right now, he only has a 74, but when he's on fire and the cards literally will be on fire, which is kind of cool, and I think the logo in-game will be on fire, so... I don't know there's dynamic cards though these are dynamic their ratings will go up they won't go down from what these base cards are though if i'm understanding this correctly so they're only going to be affected in a positive way which is nice but obviously they won't always stay there and i'm not sure if like if greek freak is like averaging 30 and he's just going off setting nba records and stuff like that will his card stay on fire or will they be like un 
like will it come down and then go back up for two days and then come down and then go back up not really sure it depends the nba sk schedule is crazy though there's a lot of guys playing so uh like like every couple nights there's, there's you play so i don't know i think that'll be really cool a lot of people didn't understand that but like when people were getting for the heat check pack they were like ah this is a crappy card not really it sells for like three to four thousand mt and yeah it's dynamic so you could even make more empty of it later in the year and it, it, it can get you some tokens too if you stack them up and do the collections so it's pretty sweet actually i like it number four is disappointing it definitely is especially if you're like me and you're grinding for card collections i spent like maybe i think i spent like 60k of my previous empty just buying like jerseys and stuff like that but one thing you do not want to buy this year is shoes if you buy shoes of any kind, they do not add to your card collector level. This is a change from the past um, when they had card collector levels back in 2K17. They didn't have them in 2K18. You could buy shoes and it would add towards the card collector levels. Now, that would be helpful because, like, instead of having to collect, you know, uh, what's it called? Instead of having to collect, you know, 2,000, uh, what's it called, just straight up players, you could collect, you know, a whole bunch of of shoes like three four hundred shoes too on top of that so you only needed to have like 1600 cards and then the shoes you usually get cheap but this year shoes do not count and i don't think consumables as well but jerseys and courts and coaches do still count so remember that but um yeah you do miss out on all the shoes you have so there really is no reason to hold on to shoes i guess unless you're using them and putting them on players um, but you definitely don't need to like keep stacks of shoes and stuff like that or keep like one of each like you used to need to do So a little disappointing because I do like card collecting and I, I mean that was kind of one of the whole purposes of the card collector um, Collection thing that I built and I don't know I might remake it this year and retool it just for the jerseys and courts because that is a little annoying But you can always just buy them from the auction house and it says whether you have things or not, which is kind of nice So yeah there's that. Um, little disappointing. Number five, again, something that you, again, might not know. Like, if we come over here to the collection and uh, you're just, like, looking at this, you wouldn't actually know what I'm about to tell you. But if you scroll way down to the bottom, you can actually search for cards. And you might be thinking, ah, that's not that helpful. It actually is. It's really nice not having to go and click on all the collections and try and find stuff. So, say you just pulled this mellow or whatever. You just go and you just search diamond and boom. You, you can see them and add stuff to them and stuff like that and you can see like oh yeah i've got you know diamond shoe on him but not on him so i really like this this feature's been nice i've been putting use to this like this year so like when i gotta add contracts i'll just search for like diamonds or like my best players i'll search for like amethyst and i'll see all the amethyst that i have right here and i'll just start adding stuff to them from here so kind of nice i like this feature and it's kind of hidden at the bottom you wouldn't necessarily see that i wish it was like at the top here and you could just scroll up once and search but it is all the way down at the bottom so you do have to kind of search for it but um yeah you can pretty much find anything like you can search by like certain attributes and stuff like that so you can say hey i want to find a guy with you know really good shot blocking set that bad boy up i don't think i have anyone with like super high shot blocking so yeah it is a little hard oh you also have to search it as player i think uh it's on amethyst that's why <laughs> so if i search players and then these are the ones i think all with 80 or 85 shot blocking so this is kind of nice too when you're like building your team and you want to pick guys you know that have crazy nice speed or something like that you can actually do that so there's gonna be some really nice things with this and in case you're trying to build like an all speed team or all shooting team something like that you literally just go and say hey i want the guys you know who have um i don't know how many guys have 90 plus speed probably not too many you can see these guys are the ones that do so kind of cool i like how uh they have this in the game and i think it's actually really underrated number six is the last tip and this is what drives me bonkers man so many people have been asking me about this they come out of the collections and they're doing them to try and get tokens and they come to the throwbacks and they're try you know trying to do this collection and they're like why can't i find dj augustin and why can't i find you know this guy and that guy and all these players that i already have the ones of right here they are token players please stop asking me oh my goodness I, like people are like i can't find them in the auction house they're not on the auction house that's that's not where you get them <laughs> you get them in the token reward section if you see a card and you just can't click on it that means it's not auctionable and you probably got to get it from awards somehow and you get it from these so yeah please <laughs> please don't ask me that i, I beg of you. I, I, you I literally get this probably once every hour or so on twitter and it, it's a little annoying as you can tell but um yeah that is the last little tidbit you might not know. I mean, you can also get these uh, packs in the token market, and that's going to be a reason to maybe keep some tokens this year. Definitely not buying that, though. Ah, I'd rather spend my tokens on uh, actual cards and know what I'm getting. Pink diamonds and diamonds and stuff like that. But 
that's it for the video. Those are five, technically six things you might not know about 2K. If there was even one thing that you did not know, or like one thing that you was like, oh, wow, I knew that was in the game, but I didn't know it worked like that. Let me know in the comment section if you knew all five. Hey, you're my team god. <laughs> Sorry I wasted your time, fam, but I think this was something that I, I, I recorded and then I was like, yeah, I gotta, I gotta upload this just because, uh, I don't know, I, I wrote the idea down and I'm like, there's definitely some things not everybody knows. Just because my team is really complicated this year and like there's so much to it. Bro, I gotta get them six blocks and uh, 15 rebounds for that 1,000 MT. That sounds damn near impossible, though. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the quick video. Eh, not really too quick, I suppose, but I thought it was a helpful video. And uh, if you did, be sure to leave a like. And let me know if there's anything else you think you might know that maybe I don't even know about my team. Because I'm sure there is some stuff, but um, so far, I think that's about it. I hope you guys did enjoy, and hopefully this helps you. Peace, man.